Columbus pickup and caught fire. News on 6's Amy Slanchik has the story only on 6. It's another day on the ranch for Callan Stossel. Life goes on, no matter what happens. Taking care of his animals in the snow and ice, which nearly cost him his life yesterday. Callan says he was backing out of his driveway when he slid and hit a power pole, which crashed right above his head, sparking a fire. I was kind of a no brainer. I thought I'd rather be electrocuted than burn alive. A lesson learned during fire prevention week at school when he was just a boy quickly came to mind. I just opened the door and jumped. And here we are today. Nowadays, there are all kinds of videos to educate people on what to do if this happens to you. Do not touch the ground and the vehicle at the same time. Jump from your vehicle and land with both feet together. The same lesson was taught a little differently in the early 2000s. I think it was a slideshow on a projector. And it's a good thing he was paying attention. Apparently, it stuck because it, it saved my life yesterday. All I can do is thank the good Lord that Callan's still with us today. Kimberly Clark is the administrative assistant at Glencoe Elementary School. She remembers these presentations because her husband, Randall, used to give them when he was the fire chief and a trooper. Clark says the fire department hasn't included this lesson for the past few years, but plans to add it back after Callan's survival story. Callan is already educating his kids about what happened with the plan to reinforce the lesson in the years to come. My boy said if I was driving back down the driveway, he said, I just wouldn't hit the pole. <laughs> he said, you just back out and you pull in. That's all you do. Right now, his family is just thankful for Callan's memory so they can make more memories together. In Glencoe, Amy Slanchik, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.